one week post vasectomy and my first real workout back. So check this out. Hey, it's Chris. So I am one week out from my vasectomy procedure. I haven't had a whole lot of symptoms. Most of the issues that I've been having revolve around the leg placement while I'm sleeping and pressure in that groin area. Hasn't been too bad. Honestly, I wake up and it's a little sore because I was tossing and turning and then I'm fine. I'm not even taking Motrin right now. The site looks fine. Everything is going quite well. So today I am going to have myself a real arm workout. I'm getting back into my routine. I'm super excited to get back and start working out again. We're gonna do a little montage here of what I'm gonna be doing so you can see exactly what I do during my workout. really glad you can't smell me right now because it's Florida in the summertime and I forgot to put on deodorant this morning. There it is, some excerpts from my workout today. One week post vasectomy. I was cleared by my doctor to go back after one week. My arm workout, I would say that I had no complications. I don't even think that I experienced any kind of pressure down there. Oh, it felt good to have a workout too. It is hot here in Florida. But last night was worse because it had rained all day and then it was sunny in the afternoon and evening and it was humid like a hundred percent. It could have been 80 degrees out there, but it felt like 130,000. It was hot. We'll see how Monday goes with our leg day, with my leg day, not yours, but you can do legs on Monday if you want to. I hope you enjoy this Father's Day weekend. This is my first Father's Day that I get to experience. I may or may not let my son make me breakfast. Probably won't. I'll probably make him breakfast, but it should be a good day. My wife actually brought up a very good point, and that was to address maybe some common questions that uh, you might be wondering when it comes to how things are going one week post vasectomy. So one question is, do I still ice? I haven't had to ice my groin scent since probably Monday, maybe Monday, and that was really just briefly. So maybe since day three post procedure, I stopped using ice as a means of pain control. I still used Motrin at that time, and uh, I, I, was, I was fine otherwise. Does it hurt to go pee? Well, no. The, the vas deferens does not connect directly to the urethra, and that's where you pee. It goes through the, semi, the seminal vesicles, and in the prostate, it connects to the urethra at that point, and it's cut way down into your scrotum. So you don't have any pain when you urinate. Any morning erections that you have with, with having to urinate in the morning, they don't hurt either. I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever. What type of pain medication did I use? Uh, I used uh, ibuprofen or Motrin. The doctor prescribed me some Tylenol number three, which is Tylenol with codeine. Then I used PRN or as needed, uh, which I didn't use all that often. Pretty much just uh, day two when I went to the softball tournament and I was moving around a whole lot. I took it preemptively at that point because it was kind of the first time I was up and walking around a bunch and I didn't want it to sneak up on me. That's the thing about pain is it can be a little insidious where it doesn't hurt now but it kind of sneaks up on you and uh, it's better to stay on top of it than try to catch up to it. Does it hurt to have sex? I actually can't speak to that nor can I speak to ejaculation. I have not tried sex yet with my wife. I'm still a little concerned about pressure in that area uh, because that still hurts and I can still feel that when I'm in the shower and just cleaning down there, just uh, putting a little bit of pressure 
in the groin area does still cause some tenderness, um, especially uh, in my in my uh, testicles. So I try to I, I, I'm kind of hesitant to try it. Um, I, so I can't really speak to whether or not it hurts to have sex, nor can I say if there's any kind of bloody ejaculate that happens. I, I, I haven't had any kind of discharge, I can tell you that, and I haven't had any kind of painful symptoms as far as that goes either. So um, no, no rando blood, no, no swelling down in my groin area either. How long did it hurt? Uh, I could say that it probably stopped having severe symptoms, and by severe symptoms, I mean I never really had severe symptoms, but I would say like the, the immediate pain and that associated with uh, pressure was probably done at like day three. Uh, I still had some pain uh, associated with pressure. Uh, to this point, actually, when I, like I just said, when I shower, my, uh, when I'm cleaning my groin area, it does still kind of hurt. So I'm one week post vasectomy and it's still causing some pain. I did reach out to some uh, friends of mine and some colleagues that have had this done before and told me that those symptoms tend to resolve around two weeks. So we'll see it two weeks. Does it hurt more with or without underwear? Honestly, the first couple of days, even gravity kind of hurt my balls. <laughs> After that, I didn't really have any pain. When I wore underwear, it, the pressure against my testicles hurt. Uh, when I didn't wear underwear, the gravity hurt. So um, it's just kind of like that tugging sensation that I've referenced before. It's there, there's really not a whole lot you can do with it. You can just try to work around it with ibuprofen icing and try to minimize the swelling in that area. Do jeans cause issues? No jeans. I haven't really worn jeans. Uh, like I said, any kind of garment that might be a little bit overly tight might cause you some issues, but that's generally not an issue with me. I live in basketball shorts and shorts in general. In the summertime, I don't wear anything with sleeves. It's why, why would I? It's Florida in the summer. Uh, so shorts, I, I haven't had any issues with the shorts that I wear. Generally, Anything that's probably a little bit overly tight might cause some issues. It's completely up to the individual, of course, so uh, you might not have any issues whatsoever with anything tight. <sighs> Bug. You might not have any issues with anything tight, shorts, underwear, gravity, you might not have any symptoms at all. You might have symptoms that last for a while. It really just depends on the quality of job that was done and the type of person you are. Uh, but usually there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever. Most of these procedures are done by highly skilled urologists and they um, are relatively asymptomatic procedures. Uh, have I gone swimming yet? No, I have not gone swimming. I'm still, I haven't even taken a bath. I'm still hesitant to do something like that. I still have Dermabond, which is that surgical glue in the area of my testicles. And it, there's a little bit there along with the dissolvable suture that has not dissolved yet. Uh, so I don't really want to expose it to too much submersion, especially in anything that has a lot of chemicals in it, like the pool. I, I don't suspect it would cause any issues, but I don't know if you have questions like that. That would be a better question for uh, your, your medical doctor, your uh, physician. Okay, so that about wraps up the questions, uh, common questions that I could think of anyway. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. Check me out on Instagram, at Team Us Chris, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.